Um, today, what are we going to do? We are going to study or uh, solve fractions, fractions, simple fractions. I want you to understand the basic uh, knowledge of fraction. Uh, we have two examples on the board. 2 divided by 3 minus 3 divided by 5. This says 11 divided by 12 plus 5 divided by 6. Um, they, they, they look somewhat similar. Okay, let's start from the first one that says 2 divided by 3 minus 3 divided by 5. One thing I want you to understand is when you have a fraction like this, the first thing that comes to your mind is the LCM. The LCM is the lowest common multiple. Uh, a number that can divide uh, the denominators without remainder. The denominators are 3 and 5. And the number that can divide them without remainder is 15. Yes. 15 can divide 5, you have 3. 15 can divide 3, you have 5. So what the next thing you will do when you have a fraction in this form is to draw a line. Make it simpler, draw a line. Draw a line. And draw a line. Write the LCM, which is 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 2 is what? We have 10. Minus. 15 divided by, by 5 is 3. 3 times 3 is what? It's 9. We have 10 minus 9 is 1 divided by what? 15. As simple as that. B says 11 divided by 12 plus 5 divided by 6. I'm going to do the same thing in this aspect. You will agree with me that the LCM should be C, so yeah, 12. The reason why the LCM should be 12 is because 12 can divide 6 without remainder. 12 can divide 6 without remainder. So we are not going to multiply in this um, step now. We are not going to multiply 12 times 6 to find our LCM because C, 12 itself can divide 6 without remainder. So what we are going to do is to draw a line as usual and write our 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 11 is 11. Well, of course, put it there. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 5, we have what? 10. So let's add everything together. 11 plus 10 is 21. Divided by what? 12. Okay, we look for the number that can divide both numerator and the denominator. We're going to reduce this uh, fraction. We call it a uh, percentage fraction. You reduce the the result by the same number. Then, 3 can go into 23, 21 rather, and also 12. The 21 divided by 3 will give us 7. Give us 7. 12 divided by 3 will give us what? 4. So, it's still the same as 4, 1, 3. This way. Yes. I used to say 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. As simple as that. I always say that. We can make math look more fun and look more simple for ourselves. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I want you to click it right now. There are many videos that you'll be seeing in my channel. I want you to click on it. Subscribe to my channel. You will see a lot of videos. There are some I've released already. Please. Click on it, like my video, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.